Titi, thanks for joining us. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your time. We know that you've got a big uh, pre-match uh, training session to uh, go into. But before that, give us, uh, in the same way that we did with Rana, you've just arrived at Kaiser Chiefs, and um, how have has it been since you've arrived? And how do you feel and how have you adapted? Okay, thank you, sir. Um, obviously, when you arrive to a new team, the main point or the main objective, I'm the main goal. I'm going to ask you to come closer to the mic. So the main goal is to come and settle well, gel with the players that you find in the team, and try to, to add value to the team. So, which so far, I think, as I, we have said it, uh, in the previous, that Chiefs is a team which is in progress. You can even see, compared to the first game we played and the last game we played, you can see that there's something that has been built on the team and which is coming up very well. And going forward is just keep on insisting and keep that consistency because growth does not come in a one day. It's something that you must work on it day in and day out so that you can reach your target. Thank you very much, members of the media, right away, the same way. Your name, name of your publication and the question. Please, let's keep it rolling. Don't wait for me to point you. Okay, Chavez, this is from Far Post. Uh, Titi, um, the club has just brought in a uh, Ox in Chetra. Players are still trying to view as a defense. How important is that signing for, for the team and how is it settling in? Uh, it's not all about who comes in who was not there, a Chiefs is a, is a family. We are one brand, one cycle. It's all about how we apply ourselves at a given time or any given opportunity. Yes, he came, he added value, but remember also the players that has been there on the team. So they have added value also and they're important. It's all about trying to, to gel together so that at the end of the day we produce good result because it's not all about individual, it's about team brilliance. Um, Tato, you, you've, you've, you've paired very well with um, Mr. Mang. Um, just, you've just joined the club. It shows that you've been watching this club for some time. What is it that you found in that defense that actually makes you blend in and gel in very well with whether you're playing with the Dove on the side or whoever that you're playing with. That's why I say at the beginning that it's all about team. It's not all about individual. It's about the structure that has been presented there. So if you're a player coming outside, you're going to sweep inside the structure. It's not what you are coming with. It's what you are finding on the team, which obviously is the technical team, how they help you. The pre-season camp, that's the main important thing. That's why the teams, they go for pre-season, so that whoever comes in, he can come and sweet, so that each and every individual which is there can understand the culture of team and try to, to gel on it, try to perfect it, so that at the end of the day, any given time, any given player, any given opportunity, all of you can produce what any player can produce who is on the Chiefs' colors. Garo Pasha from Supersport. Well, you come into a club that hasn't won anything in a very long time. Does that put pressure on yourself? Uh, you know, the structure that you speak about, family, does that also say, listen, I've got to work extremely hard for this football club? Can you come up again? Uh, you, you, you come to a club that has not won a trophy in a very long time. Does that put extra pressure on yourself as a player coming in to try and change the fortunes of the club? Uh, it's, it's, I think if you worry much, if you stress yourself too much about what has happened, what has not happened, the main important thing is the road that will take you there. It's not about what you want. You can will to, to win, but if you don't have what it takes for you to win, that will remain a dream which will not manifest. It's all about focusing on what can take you there which maybe is what I've said at the beginning, that if you can see uh, the Chiefs that started the first game and the Chiefs that you, you can see now, is something that there's an improvement on the team, which is the road that will take us to go back to the glory days.
Colin Hans, Joseph Captions, Joseph M. Uh, interestingly, you spoke about the structure. I just want to find out when you arrived at uh, Nature and were you orientated to say this is the way defenders from where we come from are playing according to structure of Kerichi? Uh, I think Kerichi is a, is a team which fall under FIFA and football is universal. So if you're a player, there's certain basics that you, you must know that you're going to apply them any given time, any game, whether it's national team, whether it's any team that you can sit on it. So the most important thing, you come, yeah, you know the basic, but those basics, when they come and then they are, they're, they're, they're refined or they're fined, how they must be applied on a game, it, it falls under the structure of a team. Many teams, they have different ways of playing. But the most important thing is for you knowing the basic of football. If you know a basic of a defender and how to apply them, I think you can sit well on the structure. Um, Lorraine Tillman with the Sweet Times. Um, you guys obviously beat Cape Town City earlier this season in the MTN8. Um, playing them again now, uh, does that give you guys confidence that you can get now two, two wins on the drop? Uh, I think the first one, yes, we, we embrace it, but now it's the water under bridge. The most important thing is how we're going to apply ourselves tomorrow. And if we can rise to the occasion, obviously, at the end of the day, we'll have the result that we desired. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to take it back home, Bogozwana. This past weekend, we saw two South African teams uh, playing against two Bogozwana teams. Uh, Pirates lost to... Um, Joining and uh, Kaburon United uh, Super Sport won against Kaburon. The standard of football that you see here and the standard of football back home, I know it's been a few seasons since you last left Botswana. What do you make of the standard and the growth of Botswana football, the pace that it's, it's on? Uh, I can say I have almost four years not there, not been there, mm -hmm. but maybe sometimes I watch some games, but the result they can show that uh, there's something which is coming up which was not there maybe four or five years back but if you can see two consecutive seasons in a row a team from Botswana qualifying for group stages it means that there's something good which are, they are building there and something good which are, they are doing. Titi, I just want to, sorry, his question as well, I think you're speaking more about you know the the culture of the club. You know, you you were the jersey number twenty four. Uh Tsapoma that won the shirt as well. One of the greatest defenders South Africa's ever had. Did they initiate you as to what is expected from a KZ Chiefs player, how to play, the jersey number that you wear, what does it mean, uh, and so forth? Did they take you through those stages at the club? Okay, can you come uh, can you rephrase your question again? I'm, I'm asking when you joined the club, were you, were you taken through you know, the demands of being a KZ Chiefs player on and off the pitch? What is expected of you? Uh, the jersey number that you, you, you wear, Tepo Masilela won it in the past. Uh, he won trophies with the club. So the culture of the club, the tradition, the history, what is expected of you? Did they take you through that? Uh, yeah, obviously, the culture of the club, they will take you through. What is expected on the club will take you through. But remember, we are, you are talking about two different players. And what I am is what he is. So, yeah. Check one, two, check one, two. Last one. Just the last bite from me. Um, I asked Randa the same question. <coughs> I'm trying to understand. I mean, Titi, you're in a setup where there's a sports psychologist. I mean, probably something you've never had in your career before. How important is it for you as a footballer? Dr. Henning? Mm, yeah, it's, it's important, very, very important. It's one of aspects that maybe they were overlooked <laughs> at the past, but you can see now most of the teams that are doing it because football, sometimes it can demand a lot from a player. It can bring a lot of stress. So sometimes you need someone who is outside the field so that he can try to show you things in a different way, to bring hope where maybe you lost hope, to try to refresh your mind so that, because at the end of the day, you can't play football and produce good results if you are mentally disturbed or 
your well-being of your mind is not in a good state. So it's something which is very, very important and is helpful. We are grateful for it to be introduced to us.